Ever wish you could get notified when your washer or dryer is done? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how I turn my regular washer and dryer from dumb to smart, so stay tuned. Now, of course, I could just buy a smart washer and dryer and easily get alerts, but you know I'm all about bang for your buck, so why not use what I already have? So I'm gonna be using the SmartThings Hub and a few SmartThings sensors to do this. Now, you've probably already heard of SmartThings, but if you haven't, it's a home automation hub that links with pretty much any smart device and lets you do all kinds of cool stuff. So my washing machine has a regular 120 volt wall plug, and I'm using the Samsung SmartThings outlet to monitor the power usage, which tells me when the washer cycle starts and stops. And I also have a multi-purpose sensor installed on the washer door that I use for reminders to take the clothes out of the washer. Now I had to get a little creative for my dryer since it's an electric dryer with a 240 volt plug, so I couldn't use a wall outlet like I did with the washer. Now I originally tried to use a multi-purpose sensor attached to the dryer to try and sense the vibration, but it was really unreliable and didn't work too well. Now I could have bought an energy meter to get the power usage directly from some of the wires on the dryer, but that would have required me to get behind the dryer or to take the wall outlet apart, which I didn't really wanna do. So like most old fashioned dryers, mine has a turn dial that you turn to a certain setting, push the start button and the dial slowly turns as the dryer cycle progresses. So I'm using a multi-purpose sensor and some tiny magnets and I was able to position the sensor in the perfect spot next to the dial to sense when the dryer cycle was done. You could even add additional magnets to the dial or add more sensors if you wanna use the other settings on the dryer. Now if your dryer's knob doesn't move, then you could also try the vibration method that I mentioned earlier. You could use a microphone from a camera to sense the sound of a buzzer if you have one, or if your dryer has a light that comes on when it's done, you could put a light sensor in front of it to sense when the light comes on. So as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna be using SmartThings to automate all of this. Now there are a few different ways that you can do it and there's even an old smart app called Laundry Monitor that can do this for you. But for the purposes of this video, I'll show you two different ways, a simple method and an advanced method. Now of course the advanced method is gonna be better, but I'll let you decide if you wanna go that route. So for the simple method, we'll be using the new SmartThings app. So if you're like me and you're using a classic app, then stick around for the advanced method. Anyways, the first thing you need to do is monitor your washer cycle. So once your washer is plugged into the SmartThings outlet, you need to do a load of laundry and look at the device activity in the SmartThings app and watch your energy usage to see how low the wattage drops during the cycle. So some washers like mine can go as low as 1.2 watts in the middle of the cycle, so you want to keep an eye on it. Once you know how low the wattage drops during the cycle, go to automations, custom automation, add condition based on the device status, and here you're gonna choose your smart outlet. So you're gonna choose power meter, and here we're gonna use that number from earlier. So in my case, the washer went as low as 1.2 watts during the cycle, so I'm gonna put 1.1. Then you're gonna check equal or below, and then hit next. And then I'm gonna hit add and choose notify member. So this is gonna send us a message whenever the dryer is done. So whenever your washer's wattage drops below that number, you'll get a notification that the washer is done. Now I should mention that this method isn't perfect and you might actually get some false alarms if your washer's wattage ever decides to go above the wattage that you set, but it's a nice and simple way to get alerts. Okay, so for the dryer notification, it's gonna be really similar. Now, if you have a gas dryer and you're using an outlet, then you can easily follow the same steps that we use for the washer. And if you're using the contact sensor method, then we're gonna get some small magnets, place them on the dryer knob, and hold the multi-purpose sensor close to the magnets and turn the knob. You wanna position the sensor so that it just barely senses the magnets when the knob is in the off position. Now, once you get the sensor in place, you're gonna open the SmartThings app, you're gonna click automations, add custom automation based on device status, select your dryer sensor, select contact sensor, we're gonna hit closed, next, and then we're gonna click add. Then we're gonna hit notify members, which is gonna make a notification, and you're gonna add your message, hit done, and then hit save. And again, you'll probably get that notification and you're all set. Now with the simple method, I recommend that you get the placement of the sensor perfect because you don't want it to notify you too early if the dryer is still going. So that's it for the simple method, now it's time for the advanced method. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail for this since it can get pretty complicated, but for the advanced method, we're gonna use one of my favorite smart apps for smart things, which is called WebCore. Now, if you're not familiar with WebCore, there's a massive wiki page dedicated to it that I'll put in the video description, but it's a super powerful tool that can be used to do pretty much anything you can imagine with smart things. So WebCore uses a set of instructions called pistons to do whatever you want. So here's the piston that I created for the washer 
alert. Now I know it looks complicated, but the beautiful thing about WebCore is that I can share this code with you and you can simply use it with your hub and all you have to do is select your sensors and you're good to go. So this is actually a mashup of a few different pistons that I found on the SmartThings forums. Now I can't remember exactly where I found the original code, but if I can find them, I'll link them in the video description and credit the author. But basically it says that if my washing machine outlets power stays above 10 watts for 30 seconds, that means that the washer is running. If the power stays below 1.2 watts for one minute, that means the washer cycle is complete. All right, so this brings us to the dryer. Now this piston is a little simpler since I'm just using a multi-purpose sensor. So this piston says that if the contact stays open for 10 seconds and the dryer isn't already running, and the sensor senses vibration for 10 seconds, then the dryer is on. Then once the contact stays closed for two minutes, the dryer cycle is completed and we get a text. So you can adjust that two minutes to something longer or shorter depending on how early or late the text message is. So both of these pistons work great and I was able to turn my cheap washer and dryer into a smart one for around $140 if you include the cost of the SmartThings hub and the sensors. All right guys, that's gonna pretty much do it for this video. I would love to hear what you guys think about this. If you're gonna try this method or if you're doing something else, I would love to see what you're doing. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and make sure you hit that like button for me as always. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video.